Hello, my friends. I am back with an item from Sonic. And as you recall, the very first item I reviewed was those broccoli tater tots. And I gave that one a pass. Here is what these things look like on the inside. So we definitely have some broccoli. Hmm, might be a little mushy. I said, don't do that one. Not worth it. The last one, as you recall, was their grilled cheese double burger. And that bread, I, I really hated that bread. And this bread, oh man, look how soggy this bread is. All right, okay, I need a napkin, wash my hands or something. This is grease is everywhere. Oh. So I couldn't give a recommendation on that burger, but I did like their burger well enough that I was thinking about going back and getting another burger, one of their regular burgers, and seeing if that was maybe a worthwhile competitor to McDonald's. However, while I was there, I noticed at Sonic that they sell their breakfast menu all day. You know, McDonald's used to do that, but then, you know, the pandemic, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say pandemic, you know, but uh, I'm saying it. Uh, the pandemic happened and McDonald's backed off of that and said, no, 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 we're not going to do breakfast all day. We can't handle it. Sonic, however, is still doing breakfast all day. So I picked up their breakfast burrito, their sausage breakfast burrito, and whew, it was pricey though. This Let's open this up. So this is their breakfast burrito. And maybe for other breakfast items it's not expensive, but this was $4.19. You know me, I don't like to spend more than like three bucks or something like that. And here we are over $4. I'm cheap, okay? Don't, don't hurt me or hate me because I like cheap things. <laughs> and I realized, no, Mrs. OM is not cheap. Okay, she, she is worth every penny. All right, so let's cut this open. And as you can see, we have, oh, I'm excited here. It looks like we have some, this green pepper or jalapeno. Let's try this. Woo, that is a pickled jalapeno. And then, and very nice. Ooh, I, I'm liking that heat that it's bringing. And then here are the tomatoes and onions. That is a nice little salsa thing there. And not much sausage, as you can see. Hopefully, maybe there's more down here. But here is the sausage. All right. So my first little critique, other than the cost, that sausage, very greasy. Very, very greasy. I'm not particularly liking that. I'll have to go find my tums after this. And here's the egg. Oh, there's cheese on there too. Mmm. This egg and this cheese, very, very nice. This works very well together. And ooh, this jalapeno with this onions and tomatoes. That was that's divine. However, what does it taste like when it's all together? So let's try a bite out of this side. This works great together. This jalapeno, it's pickled. I assume they do that for storage purposes. And I didn't think I would like it mixed in with everything because it's pickled, though I liked it a lot by itself. But that is works surprisingly well with this sausage and this egg and cheese and this tomato and onion mixture. Everything just seems to work. And I was complaining about the sausage being greasy by itself. Well, together, I really wasn't getting that greasiness. This, the rest of this seems to balance out that greasiness factor. Now, this tortilla, it, it was a few minutes. I went and picked this up and, and drove it home. So it was a good, you know, five, maybe even ten minutes since when I picked it up. But this tortilla isn't soggy. It is still nice and dry and holds together very nicely. And it's got a little bit of texture, a little bit of chewiness that I like. And, and I would argue lacks kind of at the Taco Bell. And then this egg is cooked, not overdone or anything, but not over easy. It is cooked, in my opinion, just right. And this cheese melts in it. And unlike so many things that I get at fast food places, I actually get a little bit of every single one of these flavors. And this sausage is seasoned nicely, so it's got that nice little... I'm not sure how to describe it, what kind of seasoning we're talking about. Maybe, maybe honey or something. I don't know. And... 
again, despite the fact that I thought it was greasy, this worked very well with this pickling here. Now that brings it down to the cost though. As I said, this was $4.19. And so this is, kind of put it together, the size of the burrito you get. Now I really, really like this. But I have to say, $4.19, am I gonna get this? And this is before a drink or a side or anything else like that. Ooh, $4.19, I, I, somebody else is picking up the tab, I'm gonna order this. If I am paying for this out of my own pocket, I'm not gonna buy this. Now, if I'm on a date with the missus and she wants this, you darn right, I'm letting, yeah, we're buying this for her, and then I'm gonna go with like the dollar burger or something, all right? So this is kind of a, a mixed, mixed thing. But even though I think this is delicious. So if you want me to review more breakfast items, I believe this is my first breakfast item, please say so down in the comments and then hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you guys later. Have a good one.